the reality is brands have never been the sole driver of their brands, right? You, you make a thing for a customer, you build community around that or audience. It was audience before you listen to them. You evolve based on their needs. If you do it well, you grow. If you don't, you die. So the foundational truth of brand being shaped by community and, and what well, audience before has always been there. It's just shifting to a more literal truth now because the community or the consumer or the participant has so many frictionless options for alternatives. And so if you don't get it right, you know, it, your, your, your death is accelerated. Your business death is accelerated. And so um, I just believe this has always been true for the brands that have endured. And, and certainly in the recent decades, the brands that have not only endured if they were legacy brands or come out and then real winners um, and taken a ton of share and even created market are the ones that have built brand identity through community and given their community power and voice. Like think about Nike, think about Patagonia, think about Tesla, think about Peloton, right? These are, these are communities that people jokingly call cults. It's because they're communities and not every user or customer is part of a, a deeply engaged community, but there is a powerful enough community fueling the business and the smart brands know how to feed that community. In the case of Peloton, they make their instructors stars, right? They make their stars stars and they reward the community for being on the journey and staying on the journey. I mean, it's one of the more literal business cases of seemingly out of nowhere, community centric, community driven versus audience and marketing. The old CPG, you know, big company playbooks of the 70s and 80s, billboards, mass marketing, put it out there. You see it. It's not a crowded enough marketplace for something else to creep into your mind. Therefore, you buy. The more we spend, the more you buy. Then the kind of creeping evolution of growth hacking and performance marketing still, if you see it, but now it's digital, see it. Um, and digital ads and again, performance marketing, I can buy my customer, but you still have to have community and something that's differentiated and endures over time to have low churn and a lowering cost of customer acquisition to have a valuable customer cohort over time. And now it's, you know, especially with recent changes and data laws and Facebook and you, the whole growth hacking, hacking performance marketing approach alone doesn't work. You literally have to have community that has a voice that can help you keep your brand healthy over time. 